Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be another installment of the YX Group Flop series on my channel. And today we're going to be discussing the girl group Nine Muses. Now I know I haven't posted one of these videos in a long time and that's mainly because I got caught up in making other videos. But I noticed recently that this series has gotten me a lot of backlash and a lot of people really don't like that I make these types of videos and have even gone as far to say that I'm an anti of the groups in this series. And to that, I have to say that I don't care. I don't care if you don't like this series. I don't care if you think I'm an anti of these groups. I really, truly don't. I've said multiple times what the purpose of this series is. And if you still think I'm trying to drag these groups, then I'm sorry you have such a smooth brain. But anyways, <laughs> moving on. So before we get into this video, once again, I want to give a couple of disclaimers. Number one, this video is in no way trying to make fun of this group or the fact that they were unsuccessful. This video series exists purely to inform. Number two, if you are a fan of this group and you notice I got something wrong, please politely correct me in the comments below. I try to be as thorough as possible when researching these groups, but because these groups are relatively unknown, it's hard to find reliable information about them. So if I say something wrong, please let me know because I don't want to spread any misinformation about the group. But yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's just get into the video. Nine Muses debuted as a nine-membered girl group consisting of members Jaekyung, Binny, Rana, Unji, Lee Sem, Sera, Yu Aiden, Minha, and Heimi on August 12, 2011 under Star Empire Entertainment. The group officially made their debut with the song No Playboy. Now that we've gone over the basics, let's get into why the group was unsuccessful. Nine Muse's debut was extremely controversial. The group received much backlash as they were accused of being a copy of Girls' Generation. They were also accused of attempting to copy Wonder Girls as their debut song was co-written by JYP. But the biggest criticism came from the group's vocals for their debut stage. Many people criticized Nine Muse's for having weak, airy vocals during their debut performance. It was even dubbed one of the worst debuts of all time because of how poor the performance was. Most of the members of the group had formerly worked as models, and this became a point of criticism for the group, many claiming that a pretty face wouldn't cover up for a so-called lack of talent. This was even more devastating to the group because Nine Muses was highly anticipated at the time of their debut, and it ended up being a huge letdown for many people. The group would go on to redeem themselves somewhat, but their debut being so poorly received led to people losing interest in them at the very beginning of their career. When Nine Muses debuted, it was announced that they would have a quote, admissions and graduation concept, where members would quote unquote graduate or leave the group once their contracts had ended. They would then be replaced by another member. This led to the lineup changing constantly. They made their debut as nine members, but only two months after debuting, Jaekyung left the group to focus on her modeling career and was replaced by a new member named Tiana. Only a few months after debuting, it was announced in January of 2011 that Binny, Reina, and Iu Aida would be temporarily dismissed from the group to pursue other careers and that they wouldn't be replaced by any new members. After three months, Iu Aida returned to the group. Bini and Rana did not as their contracts had ended. Almost a year later, in January of 2012, a new member, Gyeonggi, was added to the group. And at the end of the year on December 12th, Sungha was added to the group. Later, on January 29th, it was announced that members Lee Sim and Eunji would be leaving the group, but that they would remain under Star Empire. On June 23rd of that same year, Seda's contract had expired and she left the group. At the beginning of 2015, it was announced that two new members would be joining Nine Muses, Sojin and Gumjo. The following year, on June 7th, 2016, it was announced that Minha and Yu Aiden's contracts had ended and they had left the group. A few months later, on October 4th, it was announced that Hyuna would be leaving due to her contract expiring as well. In mid-2017, Sangha went on hiatus to pursue her career as a disc jockey. She remained on hiatus until their disbandment. When Nine Muses disbanded, there were only four active members in the group. The group had 14 members in total, and the only member who had stayed from debut to disbandment was Hiemi. The only times they had been a nine-membered group was from 2010 to the beginning of 2011 and the end of 2012 to the beginning of 2014. This concept prevented nine muses from ever getting popular. The group was essentially a revolving door of members. As said in previous videos, frequent lineup changes cause people to be hesitant in standing groups because of the lack of consistency of who is in the group at any given time. In the case of Nine Muses, this lack of consistency was severe and constant. Fans would grow attached to the group only for the lineup to change with members they cared about leaving the group. Hemi was the only member of the group who stayed in the group from Nine Muses' debut to their disbandment. 
Star Empire generally did a poor job of promoting Nine Muses. The group's comebacks were delayed on numerous occasions, and they often took long and unexpected hiatuses between comebacks. The company also declined to send them to any variety shows or radio interviews, with many fans commenting that the only time the girls were ever seen together as a group was when they were promoting on music shows. At one point, fans were so irritated by the repeated delay of the group's comebacks that they took to trending the hashtag Nine Muses Deserve Better, in which fans demanded Star Empire give the girls better promotions and overall treat the group better. And inevitably, people also took an issue with the members constantly leaving the group and new members joining. Many fans wanted the group to stop changing so often and even commented that this was part of why Nine Muses never maintained popularity. When the group disbanded on February 10th, 2019, many netizens commented about the repeated mistreatment and poor promotions Nine Muses had to deal with, and fans and non-fans alike agreed that if Star Empire had done a better job of promoting the girls, they would have seen more success. Nine Muses became notorious in the industry for being mistreated by their management after a documentary discussing their journey to become idols was released in 2012. The documentary showed the numerous ways in which their staff, specifically their CEO, emotionally and even physically abused them. In the documentary, there was a clip shown of CEO Shin Ju Hak slapping Sera, one of the original members. Another group under Star Empire, ZEA, even said it was common practice for the CEO to hit them. The documentary shocked and horrified people as many of the Star Empire staff members joined in on berating the girls. It was even revealed in the documentary that part of the reason why their debut was such a train wreck was partially because the company knew the girls weren't ready for a concept and sound like no playboy, yet forced them to do it anyways and then blamed them when it wasn't successful. The director of the documentary, Lee Hak Jun, talked about the role misogyny played in the treatment of the members of Nine Muses. In an interview about the documentary, when asked why the girls acted so passively during the filming, he said the following, quote, We have to think about the roles of women and teenagers in South Korea. Although South Korea becomes economically prosperous, catching up with the Western economy, the Asian values seem not changed. Women still have less power than men and teenagers have less power than adults. It is deeply rooted as custom in my society." End quote. He was also asked why he and the other staff filming the documentary didn't interfere when the girls were being mistreated by their management. He replied, quote, the agency allowed us to film a documentary under two conditions. One is that they want our production staff to work as the girls' managers while filming, and the other is that we don't speak up against what the agency would decide for the girls. It was also rumored amongst Knets that the CEO of Star Empire Entertainment was also a former gang member. Through the years, the members of Nine Muses came forward with stories about the difficulties they had being idols under Star Empire, and many more instances of mistreatment were noticed by fans. Seda reported that during her time as a member of Nine Muses, she was ostracized as the leader and told that everything that went wrong was her fault. And she was later demoted from the leader position after crying during a performance multiple times due to the members being forced to wear garter belts. Sera said she got extremely upset thinking about the younger members who were minors at the time wearing these outfits. The girls were repeatedly told that the reason they weren't successful is because they weren't attractive or talented enough. They were forced to do extreme dieting, resulting in many of the members being underweight. One member, Kyungri, revealed that the CEO went out of his way to be mean to her and ignore her, and because of the fact that they were essentially being bullied by their company, the members unsurprisingly confessed to having constant emotional breakdowns because of the horrible mistreatment. Fans also noticed and took issue with the graduation concept because it allowed Star Empire to cover up the fact that members were likely leaving due to the abuse that they faced as simply just members graduating from the group. Overall, Nine Muse's reputation in the K-pop world wasn't exactly the best. The group was known for being largely unpopular and mistreated by their company. While they did attract some fans and were essentially the only semi-well-known group under Star Empire, the group never did get the treatment they deserved. From interviews former members have done, it doesn't seem like many of the girls remember their time in this group fondly. But luckily, it seems like many of the members are better off after having left the group and Star Empire and seem to be doing well despite all of the mistreatment they dealt with as a group. That's all for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below some other groups you'd like to see me talk about in this series and feel free to share your opinions on Nine Muses. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye!